This is one of our favorite pit masters, Ernest. You came out, we were talking a little bit, and he's wearing his mask. This is COVID, but he has to take his mask off or we wouldn't really hear him, but he always wears his mask. We were talking a little bit about businesses and, and making money, and you brought up some creative ideas. So what were some of your creative ideas to get uh, pit masters started? Well, um, a, lot of, a lot of things I would say, um, going to the different markets, um, you got uh, funeral homes. Give them a call and see, because a lot of times those repasses, they need someone to cook for them for those really big families, and it's have outside gatherings. That's the key because right now with COVID, we can't really do nothing really in. So social distancing social is already part of it. So you look at that market too uh, when you're looking into getting into catering and different ones. And also uh, invest in a lot of tents, uh, chaffering dishes, things that you're going to need outside uh, tables, uh, those tables, chairs. In, in other words, the market now. You really need to go look for that market that's going to be going to catering outside events, uh, even your your reunions, your uh, birthday parties. Because of COVID, most of the events need to come outside to be safe, so you can have that safe distance that you need. So that's another industry you probably want to look at into. Now I know you do a lot of family reunions, caterings, and you told me you're you're getting booked out. So things look a little bit better now, 2021. I think 2021 is going. I have some real upside to 2021. Um, there, the market actually, the demand is even more now than ever. Um, just look at the previous with the snowstorm down in Texas and everything. Right. It the demand now for food is very high, and sometimes you have to take that extra step to help someone else to get to where they need to be. And sometimes it, 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 it goes a long way to have a tool to be able to get there to bring the food to them. This is perfect. This is what you need. Beautiful. And I saw we, we put the sink cage on this because it makes use of basically, you have a complete kitchen on complete wheels kitchen here. On wheels. And, and I got a place I put my sign. I'm gonna put my sign, my banner sign across here. Correct. It's gonna be wonderful, so. Uh, that's one part of the industry you really want to look at. But I tell you, Roland, man, can't beat him. Well, thank you, you sir. I, pre I, I, I appreciate that, Love sir. Love death. Love him. Thank you. Um, some of, we're like you doing secrets. I know you started getting more into turkey legs and stuff. What do you find that's very popular? Because I'll tell you honestly, I'm sick of butts, ribs, and chicken. Yeah. I'm sick of it. So what, <laughs> yeah. so what are you finding um, out there? Doing, uh, mostly the, the turkey, turkey legs, turkey wings. Um, try different flavors. With, because anybody could just smoke a turkey. Smoke a, try mixing more more flavors in those turkeys to give a balance, so people can get a, a like, well, that's something different. Than like with, what? Lemon pepper, lemon Cajun. Pepper, what do you mean? Cajun, um, garlic, uh, garlic parmesan. I mean, I, we do all kinds of flavors. Ca yeah, you told me garlic yeah, parmesan is one of parmesan, your favorites. Yeah, that garlic and the honey garlic. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's like good. Yeah, yeah honey garlic. Oh, that, that is really good. So that's that's one part of the industry I think you probably want to invest in. And in turkeys. I mean, well, not turkeys, just uh, hams. Ham. Spiral hams. Um, you can, and actually the spiral ham, and also the shank ham too, the ones that don't have the spiral. You can in, you can inject those real good with different flavors. It'll cook in and just do a, get an electric cutter and just cut them in spiral. And they're just as good as my spiral ham. So that, that's just another part of the industry you probably look at. It'd be wonderful. And I, I don't want to hold yours. I know you're real busy. But last thing I, I mentioned to you was deep fryers. How, mm -hmm. how has that changed your business? The deep fryer has elevated my in the industry to the point of there's a different demand. Um, I can also do grilling, but also it can fry too. Mm -hmm. And people all people love french fries. <laughs> I love french fries. Onion rings. Wings. Yeah. Uh, fish, onion rings, just whatever. I mean, just the market is wide open when you have that deep fry. Those four gallon deep fries or the 12 gallon deep. The deep, big ones. Big ones. But with the smaller ones, smaller you can ones. tell people yeah. chicken just goes on that and pork, you see, so we're not mixing yeah, different not meats. Not mixing different kind of flavors. Because a lot of times I have like different kind of uh, fryers mm -hmm. where I have different things going on. Maybe chicken and uh, French fries and one only and fish separate. So that that'll be one part of the market I want to get to. So it won't be mixed.
Well, Ernest, thank you again. I know our last video, I had a lot of great feedback. People oh, love listening to you and your comments. And I don't want to give out the secret. I don't want to give it, but that last little thing, just touch a little bit because I don't want the secret come out. How about pizza? Oh, what, that pizza. What's yeah, going with pizza the pizza? Oven's perfect. Okay. You could like with that pizza. <laughs> you can get any 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 type of pizza you want, and basically you want to get your temperature really really hot. Hot. It's got to be real hot. While it's on the firebox, that that the temperature gauge on your pizza has to be at least four to five hundred degrees. So once you put that pizza on there, it'll cook in, but also won't overcook on top. So it cooks the crust, cooks the crust and cooks the pepperoni and the cheese. You don't want the pepperoni and cheese mm -hmm. cooked and the crust to be yeah, doughy or doughy, cold. Yeah, doughy and everything. So you say in the high 400s? In the high 400s. In the high, four, high 400, maybe top five, 450 to be, be honest. Mm -hmm. And that temperature needs to be at least 450. And you're finding that in the rib box on top of the mm -hmm. fire box that you can get up to 450, yep, 500, sure no problem. Can. No problem at all. No like problem. They're on the back. And once I put it there, I take my crates on the top mm -hmm. and just have the pizza on the back. And it works just perfect. Fantastic. Works perfect. Well, God bless you and your family. Have a yeah, safe thanks. weekend. Be successful. Sure and will. we'll talk later. Thank you, everybody. Right, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's Ernest. He's great. Him and his family are just awesome people. They brought their smoker here to have the sink build out. Put on. Sure. What do you need? Good. How you doing? Okay. And actually, there's some other people over here, too. Take care. Roland Barbecue Smokers, 770-866-2561. Barbecue on.